Object states in Storyline are one of those cool features that course developers really love because states make it so easy to add life to your courses. We're going to take a look specifically at hover states. This slide shows an example of some hover states where the learner can mouse over any of these objects in the fridge. And you can see as I do that, there's a little bit of an orange glow around the object. It's kind of a neat way to make your course respond to your learners. And it's also kind of useful because it's very clear which object they'd be selecting if they clicked. And creating an effect like this is really easy in Storyline. Here's how it works. In this example, each of these objects are just simple PNG clip art images that I've inserted onto my slide. And we can select one of them and then come down here to our States panel, which is right below our slide workspace. And if you're not seeing the States panel, it's probably just closed. It might look something like this. And all you got to do is come down to the lower right to this little arrow and click on that to expand it. And then you should be able to get to it no problem. So we're going to click on the Edit States button, and at first the object is only going to have this one state called Normal. What we can do is click on this first icon here in the States panel to add a new state. And the state that we want to add in this case is a hover state, and now we just need to tell Storyline what we want that state to look like when the learner mouses over the object. So how about we create that kind of glow effect that we saw in the example a minute ago. We've got our hover state selected, we're going to come up to the Format tab, and use one of the picture effects called Glow. And I like the orange color, so we'll go with that. And now if we preview this, we should see that the carton of eggs will have that glow around it when we mouse over. And it does, it looks pretty good. Now what about the rest of the items in this slide? What if we want all of the items in the fridge to have that same hover effect? Well, we could follow the same steps for those items too, but a shortcut is to use a feature in Storyline called the Format Painter. It's up here in the Home tab. And what we can do is with the object selected that has the formatting and states that we want to reapply, we just double click the Format Painter. It turns our cursor into this little paintbrush icon. And now we can click on any other object. And as I do that, you'll notice down here in my States panel that Storyline is applying that same hover state with the orange glow to each object that I click on. And then I can turn the Format Painter back off. So it's a really neat way to apply formatting and states to multiple objects very, very quickly. Okay, so we've made a hover state, we've added a glow to it, but what about other kinds of hover states? What if you don't really like the glow effect and you want your hover state to maybe look a little bit different? That's totally okay. You can make your hover effect look any way that you want. For example, what if you maybe want the object to be a slightly different color when learners mouse over it? That's super easy to change. Let's do it to the bananas. We'll select the bananas, and then down here in our States panel, we'll select Edit States. We'll go to our hover state, and we're going to undo that glow. So up here on the Format tab, we'll go back to Picture Effects, go to Glow, and choose No Glow. And now let's see about applying a different color. Since this is an image, we have uh, quite a few recolor options over here in the Adjust portion of the toolbar. I'm going to select Green, and now if we preview this slide, we should see a green color when we mouse over the bananas. And we do. That looks just like we would expect. Another kind of neat way to do a hover effect is by just making the object a little bit bigger to amplify or emphasize it. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to undo what I just did with the color. And with my hover state still selected here, I'm going to choose my bananas and then just make them a little bit larger. Move them back into the center of the fridge. And now if we preview and mouse over the bananas, they'll look and behave a little bit different see how they grow a little bit larger. So that's another kind of neat but subtle effect to apply a hover state to your objects. So hover states are a really fun way to make the objects on your slides feel more alive and interactive.